going down 0-3 in a seven-game series, that might be the end of it. And I'm going to back the Boston Celtics tonight to avoid just that when they take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Should be a really fun game and a really good matchup. Let's recap the first two games real fast. First game, up and down affair. Both teams feeling each other out, pushing tempo. They average 45% from the field, both teams combined, and 38% from beyond the arc. Cleveland shot over 40% from beyond the arc. They can be devastating from distance at home. I'll get back to that in just a second. Second game, some defensive changes were made on both ends. We saw the percentages go down. Teams combined shot for 41% and only 26% from beyond the arc. This next game might be somewhere in between. It's going to be really interesting how Boston matches up with Cleveland. The line, Cleveland minus four right now. That is some respect to Boston, in my opinion. That's two buckets for the team that is picked to win the East against Boston, who is definitely not picked to win anything. So some real respect going towards the Celtics. And I think the odds makers are on top of this. I think that line is actually about right. I like the Celtics on the plus money. I think they're going to win this game. Okay, some more statistics. Cleveland, like I mentioned, at home, on the road, different. At home, they shoot about 47% from the field. On the road, about 45%. Here's the big difference. From beyond the arc, they shoot 38.6%. On the road, they shoot 34.6%. And that's good news for Boston because in the league this year, in the NBA, they are ranked fourth in defending from beyond the arc. Brad Stevens knows what he's up against. He's an excellent coach. I think he's going to have his defense ready. I think Turner should do a good enough job against LeBron to limit him. Bradley, very good defender. Avery Bradley should do a great job against Irving. Some other numbers. Boston, defensively at home, defensive field goal percentage. They're better at home than on the road. They're also better in assists allowed. They tend to get out there and stop ball movement in a more productive manner. They're a good defensive team at home. Another thing, very, very important point. Boston thinks they can win this. They think they can beat Cleveland. I think they come in with the mindset, we're competing with these guys. In the last game, they fought the whole way through. They're not intimidated. They're gonna have the home crowd behind them. And I think that confidence and Brad Stevens embracing that underdog role he does so well is going to get them to win. I like the Boston Celtics tonight, and that's my play of the day. And I wish you luck on your plays of the day.